New at 6, we're hearing what a woman has to say to the homeowner who shot and killed her brother last week in Denver. No charges will be filed in what appears to be a tragic case of wrong place, wrong time. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live now. Mark, still so many questions for this family. That's right. Like, why wasn't Chris Nelson able to make it home after walking home from a night at the local bar? Instead, he wound up five blocks away, breaking down the door of a man who was ready to defend his own home. He simply wanted to go home and go to sleep. Now I guess he is home sleeping. Chris Nelson's family says he was walking home after drinking too much at the bar when he mistook a home five blocks away for his own. It really is a horrible series of unfortunate events, um, but he really, he would understand. When Nelson kicked in the door of Jason Morell's house, the former California police officer was prepared to defend his family. He did, legally, under Colorado's Make My Day law. What the victims had done is they had retreated away from the door to a back bedroom, and they... The, the shots were actually fired from that back bedroom down into down a hall. Nelson was a former Marine who'd served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He'd just gone back to college to study sports journalism. Fact, Nelson's family know, say they forgive the Morels, but wish things had turned out differently. And I know he's a trained police officer, and um, that they're trained to shoot and kill. I read he had a tactical vest on. I, I, I just... If there was that time to get a vest on and stand there, why not wait until police got there? But I understand he did break in, so we understand. And Danielle says she actually wants to meet Jason, let him know that they do forgive him for this whole incident. Everybody in this neighborhood calling Chris their war hero, saying he's not the type of person you ever have to ask help from. He is the kind of person to offer it out front. Live in Denver, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.